Welcome to an introduction to admissions. You've been given an appointment by your consultant and that will bring you here in the near future. Admissions will open its doors from 7 in the morning. Most clinics can be easily reached through the elevators and stairs on the main concourse. By following the signs on the walls, you can reach the clinic listed in your admission letter, such as FAL on level 4. The admission letter will also be full of valuable information regarding your stay at the clinic, such as your expected arrival time, and should be brought with you on the day. The reception staff will be waiting with smiling faces to welcome you and direct you towards the nursing staff inside. Before entering, please take a few seconds to use the alcohol gel and help to prevent the spread of infection. It just takes a moment, but it will kill almost 99% of germs. On arrival, a nurse will ask for your details and the name of the person whose care you will be discharged to. Once this is carried out, you will be guided towards the waiting area. These waiting areas have been made as comfortable as possible, but remember that you may have to wait a while until the doctors are ready to operate. The admission time provided to you isn't the actual time of your operation, so bring some magazines, books or other things to help keep you entertained whilst you wait. You will also need to bring a comfortable dressing gown and some slippers with you. There is no need to pack anything else as an overnight bag is not required and any valuables would be better off left safe at home. You are more than welcome to have a single family member or friend with you whilst you wait. But just the one, space is limited in the waiting area and you will be able to see the rest of your friends and family when you return home. When available, a nurse will call your name and take you over to one side. They will then go through a few quick questions and provide you with an identification wristband as well as taking your temperature. This is all just procedure and once done you can return to the waiting area and relax till your name is called once more. When your name is called you'll be shown into the changing room and provided with a gown to get into. Once changed you'll be shown to the consultation room to meet your doctor. The doctor will go through the details of your operation and quickly give you a pre-op assessment. If you do have any questions or concerns about your operation, your doctor will gladly talk them through with you. Afterwards, you will be sent to a different waiting area for added privacy. If you brought along the dressing gown and slippers mentioned earlier, this will keep you warm whilst waiting. At this point, if you have been accompanied by a friend or relative, they will be informed how long you may be in theatre and the approximate time you may be in recovery where they can rejoin you later in the day. You will then be walked to the operating theatre unless you express any difficulties in doing so. There is no need to worry. You will wake up after the operation in the recovery area where you will be observed and cared for by the staff. At this point you will be reunited with your companion and they can stay with you till you feel more alert and capable of leaving. A nurse or doctor will assess your progress and once they feel you are able to leave, you will be given instructions on how to care for yourself at home. This all should have taken around six hours. It may take longer with unforeseen delays, 
though you will still leave before the end of the day. This will mean that you can return and relax with family and friends in the comfort of your own home. So remember, pack light, keep entertained and stay relaxed and we'll have you back on the road to recovery in no time.